best stream ever. Me! <laughs> My KSP keys, which are that way, actually. <laughs> the chat and a blank screen that's been sitting this way for almost 45 minutes now. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> I'm seriously just going to sit here and uh, stream a blank screen, and we'll see how that goes, because the screen is blank, and we're going to see what happens with this thing. It's been loading forever, and it continues to load, and I am now 30 minutes late for my stream. <laughs> Am I streaming on the right channel? I am. Okay. We need to turn these... I wish we could turn these monitors down, but it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. Let's see what we've got here. <laughs> I need to get this thingy with the bookmarks, and then we could do this, and then we can do... Where's this going to start? That's going to need to be turned down. There you go. Let's make it extra low so Hadron Collider doesn't complain again tonight. I'm seriously just going to sit here. I'm just going to sit here and watch this black screen. Oh, look, it updated. It actually updated. That probably means it crashed. You can actually see the texture being compressed right now. Kerbal Stream Key, Kerbal Stream, Streamlag Academy, apparently. Why do I look so terrible? It looks like I have a black eye. I don't have a black eye. It's just the camera and the lighting is bad, I guess. It's just the light. Oh, there it moved a little bit. Look, it saw it moved. Did you see it move? It moved a little. It loaded a teeny tiny bit. Like a teeny tiny bit. What takes it so long, though? That's what it's done in 45 minutes. Oh, it moved again. I saw it move. Look. <laughs> Watch it. Watch it. Keep your eyes on it. It's going to move. It's going to move. Come on. Come on. Up! Oh, it changed! Look! There's like a, a ghosted Kerbal. <laughs> There's a ghosted Kerbal on the screen that's honestly a little creepy. Oh! We have a full Kerbal! We're making progress. <laughs> Science. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is it supposed to go this slow? I mean, it's been sitting this way for 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Yes, this is what we're streaming tonight. <laughs> Chunky Chicken TV, we're just going to stream the loading screen. It's moving back when you're not looking. <laughs> it's moving back. It's moving forward and it's moving back again. And every time I say something about it, it goes back. Oh, wait, I saw it change. We should just turn around. We should just turn around and I'll sit here and watch it. I'm looking the wrong way, aren't I? Wait, no, I'm looking the right way. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm sh I should be good, look. I should just sit here. It should be somewhere up in this area, right? Uh, right there. I'm just going to sit here and watch. <laughs> watch the stream. Load. Slowly but surely. I wonder what this actually looks like on the camera. I should put myself on this monitor over here so I can see what the deal is. <laughs> Nubius, you ended your stream at the right time. Wait, this raid counts. <laughs> Oh, this raid counts. Kerbal progress bar watch. Biting time. It's definitely biting time. Count. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Let's see here. Count true. So there he is. Count true silver. Oh, wait. I find his name over here. Folks, Count true silver was keeping us company earlier. Right there. He was hosted on the channel for a good amount of time. He is apparently deploying insane numbers of probes to planets and stuff. Click on his name. Give him a follow. It's not the Goss Valdez. <laughs> Did you get your name from the Goss Valdez, the oil tanker? There was no there was no ship ever called the Goss Valdez. Dude, Count, thanks for the raid, man. I appreciate you. Uh, uh, all right. All right. Thank you, Count, for the raid. And it looks like Noob came over as well. Noob as well. Look, click on Noob's name. Give him a follow. We don't have anything else to do. Although, it's going. It's going. The bar is moving. The bar is totally moving, so we've got that going for us. Nubius Maximus, dude, what were you streaming earlier? We know Count. We know Count was totally, uh... <clears throat> we know Count was doing, uh, the thing with the stuff, the streaming of the KSP. Noob, what were you streaming today? What were you streaming today? The P in KSP says, it's Kerbal Space Patience. <laughs> Kerbal Space Patience. Igor, this has just been going, uh... This has just been going for 40, 
about 45 minutes so far. But it's moving! Now it's moving! That's a good thing, right? It's totally moving. I did add the active texture management. I added the extra te active texture management mod 45 minutes ago. Because I worked. I worked to get Astronomer's Visual Pack running for an hour and a half and could not get it working. This may still not even work. I don't even know. I don't even know if this is even going to work. We may just go stream Minesweeper or something. Minesweeper Academy. Let me scroll down. Welcome Raiders. Yes, welcome Raiders. Thank you again, Count, for the raid. A bootleg, <laughs> a bootleg KSP stream where you're watching the bar. <laughs> a bootleg KSP stream. There's actually a dude with a video camera sitting behind me in the theater, and he's streaming. The, he's recording the back of my head. Chunky Chicken says, "Shh, don't talk about it. It's shy." <laughs> you should watch a launch looking back like that. I'll do that sometimes. I'll do that sometimes. Where's the Twitch thingy? That's how you should look at the stream when you explain something in the game, but then I can't actually see it. <laughs> if I look at it that way, I can't actually see it. Should we maybe play with the camera? Does the camera look okay? I've got this new fancy 1080p camera, yada yada yada, and I feel like it doesn't look as good as my old camera. True or false? Zenik landed on the moon for the first time. <laughs> oh! Is that your drilling rig or whatever you were working on? You got it to successfully land. Well done! Well done, Zenik. I can't bring it up right now. I can't. Well, I could, I guess. But, there we go. That's going at least. Is I'm, I'm a little bit bright over there, so let's get rid of that. Now I'm less bright. I've just got the light of the stars on me over there. What else do we have? Let's see here. Da -da 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 -da. All right, I remember seeing that. There's Don't Talk About It. Oh, wait, I'm scrolling the wrong thing. I'm scrolling the wrong thing. I'm looking here. The hat brim is a bit low. <laughs> Dude, my hat's been worn this way for the past 20 years. 25 years, probably. <laughs> ah, good job, Zinnick. Do we get a good job, Cadet, on that? Das, what mods are you using? Scroll down, Chris. Scroll down. <laughs> Draw a marker on your green screen when you need to... <laughs> do you upload your KSP videos? Yes, Giant to Eve, I do. Nightbot is broken. I don't know what to do about that. I don't know what to do about that. Nightbot should come back. Wait. Oh, there was Spartan Bot. Spartan Bot is engaged. We require additional night bots. You just finished streaming KSP. Was streaming Majora's Mask much earlier. Nice noob. Nice. I am reading. Let's see here. You totally have beef jerky to eat. <laughs> I think I may actually do some long dark later tonight. We'll see. We'll see. Why is it that you're taking forever? It can take hours. I know. No, I know, Chris. I know. But this has been going for an hour, and I barely have any mods in the game. I'm just asking it to do a basic compression. A basic compression. Maybe you moved a light because you have a black eye now and you didn't before. Yeah, that's probably it. I probably did move a light. You would watch a Minesweeper stream. <laughs> well, I'd, I was telling people that I was just going to stream my loading screen as Active Texture Management works. And people were like, fine, we'll watch you. Go for it. Yay, that's hooray. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Let's see here. So I'm streaming. I'm totally, uh, by viewer request, I'm totally streaming a, uh, a loading screen. I think, yeah. I think I did change the position of the lighting. Let me see if I can change the position of the lighting. Convio, get you some sleep, man, and I will check the message. I'll, I could probably do it right now. Hurricane hitting the KSC. Here's Weatherman Das to give you a full report. Das equals the highlight of your day. I can't highlight your day. I'm sorry. I don't have editor access. You challenged a friend to land a base on Tylo. That shouldn't be too difficult. Sweet. That is a nice roving base. Landing a base on Tylo shouldn't be too difficult. It's on the bouncing by the numbers just like everything else. There are a hundred people watching a bar loading. OpenGL does not work with OBS. You cannot run the OpenGL mode, apparently. You can't run the OpenGL mode if you're going to use OBS. It doesn't work. DOS is apparently my... <laughs> Constantly restarting the game. Cybertech, it should go faster with your new loading, with your no computer, right? Did you get that? No, did it move? Why does it take so long? <laughs> We're seriously just hanging out. Let me see if I can, hang on. Let's see if we can do that. <clears throat> Landing on Tylo is not a big deal. Landing on Tylo is not a big deal. Landing on Tylo is not a big deal. It just takes you a lot of Delta V. Now I'm moving the camera. Okay, that should be bouncing the light directly there. That should put the light straight on my face, and now I looked a little bit washed out, right? Yeah, now I looked a little bit washed out. I'm a little bit too bright or something, don't I? 
Loading Scream Academy! <laughs> what is the size of the folder? Game, Active Texture Management, Texture Crest, Squad. I'll have a look. Let's go have a look. I'm too bright, though. Now I need to tone that light down a little bit. Now I need to tone the light down a little bit. <laughs> I bit all. Snelly Gun, what's going on? Let me go look at that for you. I'll look at it. I will look at it. Uh, it's going to be in Game Data, Active Texture Management, uh, Texture Cache, Squad. That folder is currently 19.4 megabytes. 19.4 megabytes. Is that telling me that it's going to take a long time? A long time? Ah, uh, yes. Why wouldn't I just, uh, why wouldn't I just put a less bright light in, I think is what I need to do. This is like, what, a 75 watt light, because it's bouncing off the wall. But the new camera, whoa, I moved the camera a little bit. Look, you see the little sliver of green screen over there? I totally moved the camera just a little bit. Let me fix it. Rink. There we go. All right. All right. My ambient light mod is broke. Have you looked at your task manager? Why would you want me to look at my task manager? I'll look at my task manager. Let's see. Uh, what do you want to see? It's going. What should I do? What did you want? Theater, I'm looking at my task manager. It says CPU usage 12%, memory 2.5 gigs for KSP.exe. That's what it says. That's what it says. That way you can do it without spending money. Oh, but I have the lights already. I have the lights. No way! Jump over to Dolan Dark. Uh-uh. Not gonna happen. I'm just gonna let this thing go. I'm just gonna let this thing go. You totally thought he was in the computer. <laughs> I wonder, I couldn't actually open my other save. Oh, it just jumped. The screen just moved for some reason. Let me see here. At the moment, it's uselessly compressing your squad folder for absolutely no reason whatsoever to DDS and use the ATM for the rest. You didn't tell me how, Igor. I asked you to help me with that, and you didn't actually help me. I asked you multiple times, and you didn't uh, you didn't help me with that. You were, like, talking about other stuff. I was like, well, how do I do that? And you were like, blah, 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 blah talking about other stuff. I totally would have done that. I totally would have done that. No, there's nothing taking any CPU. There's nothing taking any CPU usage right now. I mean, Chrome is taking 1%. Let me see here. OBS is taking 8%. Yeah, it's just KSP and OBS. And the computer is only using 30% of its CPU right now. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Oh, it just moved! It's going to change the picture, I guess. Let me see if I can't play with this camera a little bit. Uh, the light is bouncing off the wall. This is, uh, this is bouncing off the wall right now. That is how I have it set up. Let's see here. Let's see what we've got going on here. So let me see. I'm, let's set up the stream while, we'll, while, we'll, while we do this. While we do this. Make sure you're tabbed into KSP, really? Well, that's going to be a problem. I never tab into KSP. It takes longer if I'm tabbed out of KSP. No, you sent me the link, but you didn't tell me what to do. You just, like, pasted the link, and then you just, like, stopped answering me, dude. I was totally asking you for help. And <laughs> you totally let me down. You totally let me down, dude. <laughs> let's see here the light looks much better the light is very bright right now I bet you by changing let's see here we're gonna play with this y'all tell me what looks good because I don't really know what looks good I don't really know what looks good and let's see here Logitech properties let's play with this I can't actually really see myself too well tell me what looks good here uh, gain so that auto gained there we go. That looks less washed out, just bumping the gain down a little. Does that look better to y'all? That looks better, just bumping the gain down. And I don't even think I'm going to touch the exposure. This looks good. Yeah, I'm not going to touch. That looks a lot better, doesn't it? That looks more natural. I look less sickly just by bumping the gain down. That's me in the dark. That's me all whitewashed out. That right there, doesn't that look good? I think that looks good. I think that probably looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, that looks good. All right, we're just look at that. That was an easy fix. All right, yeah. Now, okay, it's just the camera. Why does it look like I have a black eye though? I don't have a black eye. Ultra HD Valdez. <laughs> it looks more like your long dark streams. I did bump it down a little bit. A disembodied, <laughs> a disembodied floating DOS is floating. The first change you did looks good. This is I put it back to the same number as I had before. I put it back to the exact same number, so this is the same number as I changed to, to in the first place. Ah, good to go. Thanks. All right, let's 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 look at the other screen. 
Let's look at uh, the full screen cam and see how this one is. There we go. So this is me like in full freaking 1080 PHD and 1600 by 900 on the screen. Uh, is there a YouTube of DOS using a claw drone to finish up the Orbital Hilton? Yes, yes, yes. Um, there is a Orbital Hilton, and it would be under Orbital Construction. Um, there's a video up there that's called Orbital Construction, and the Orbital Construction one has me using the claw drone. The thing is jumping all around. Why is that jumping all around? Now I look a little bit more washed out. How does this look? <clears throat> this screen over here is probably too bright. Look. See how I can turn off that extra white? It's just the monitors are so big. To real, real time. Das, maybe you can set ksp.exe to real time. All right, let's see here. <laughs> it's jumping around slowly but surely. Das, the corporate presenter. I almost don't like looking full, like, HD. I'm not sure I like that. You can, like, see every little, like, gosh, I need to shave. I really do need to shave. Nice teeth. I do have nice teeth. Thank you. Braces. <laughs> I hated them. What's with the green square? I actually don't know how. See, there's see how there's green around my hands too. I don't know how to fix that. I actually don't know how to fix that. The size is not a bit off. Um, look, let me show you. Let's work on the screen while this thing loads. <laughs> I, I hey, I labeled the title Kerbal Loading Screen Academy. I told you what was going on here. I totally told you what was going on here. All right, KSP. Dot, no, no, KSP. Exe. Set priority real time. System instability. The priority was set to high instead of real time. Okay. All right, whatever. <laughs> it's okay. We can try with DDS loader. <laughs> HD equals high DOS. High DOS ignition. <laughs> Let's turn that off. Um, I don't know how to fix the green screen thing. I really don't know how to fix the green screen. I've tried all the different numbers. I've tried all the different numbers. Let's try again. Because look, what I've got here, I've actually got, so there's the admin background missing, but then I've got a cutout. Oh, my green screen is big enough now. Look, I don't need the cutout anymore. Do you see, look, do you see how my arm cuts out like that? That's because my old green screen was too small, right? I didn't set it to real time. I set it too high, I guess. Yar, thanks for the follow, which is amazing that you tossed a follow to me. Uh, audio desync. Ah, I don't see any audio desync. On my end, I'm not showing any dropping or anything like that. A couple people got audio desync. Try refreshing the stream. That's usually a Twitch thing. Yeah, look, I can totally get rid of the cutout now that I have the bigger green screen. Because now, look, now I can use the entire camera. Sweet, because I have the bigger green screen. Excellent. Cheats. Hacks. Play Pong. Look, and then with the cutout, I didn't have the entire camera. See? Like, I didn't have the entire camera. So I could fix that. That's because my old green screen was too small. My old green screen was too small, and now my green... Oh! Oh, it just made a big jump. Dare gross fish! Thanks for the follow. <laughs> I appreciate you. Let's see here. We've got that. Okay, now I can get rid of the cutout. That's amazing. Delete. What else should I fix on the stream, y'all? Remove. Yes. Okay. You know what I've always wanted to do? I think that OBS can't do this. I would like to put an actual video in here. In this... In the monitor, right? In the monitor, I would I would totally like to put an actual video in there, but I don't know how to do that. Um, Slim was helping me out. You should be able to get the green to go away. Let's play with that then. Uh, if you alt and click on the edges of your source, you can crop. Yes, I knew that, but the green screen wasn't big enough for me to look the right size with the background. That's why I made the cutout. That's totally why I made the cutout. This is actually looking okay. Let's see here. It hasn't crashed yet, so it's got that going for it. Yeah. I don't know why the screen jumps around. OBS can do that? How do you do that? How do you do that? Does anybody know how to do that? Tell me how to do that, because I can put a video up there. I know that I could do, like, uh... Well, I don't have that up right now. Hmm. I don't know how to do that. I actually don't know how to do that. Like I said, I'm totally a noob. You can make the screen show something. But can I tweak it so that it's to the side? Right? Just play a media file and use a window capture. But, no, 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 but, I, but the problem is, the problem is you can't shear it. OBS can't shear it. Does anybody know how to make OBS shear it? My hands are green. Put a video in there by using OBS, putting a layer between. No, I know that, but you can't shear it is the problem. I, I, I understand 100%. I should put my loading screen back there. Wait, wait, watch, watch. I know I can do this. Let me see here. Let me actually bring the chat up on the screen. 
Where's the chat background? Okay, there's the chats on the screen, so we know that. And then, uh, oh, why is the follower notify not up? And the donation notifies up. Okay, good, good, good. You can't rotate or adjust the video without a plug-in. I know XSplit can do that. I know XSplit can do that. You can't shear in OBS. You'd have to do that within video editing software. See, that's not going to work because I just want to be able to give it a URL and have it put a video back there. That's how I need it to work. That's how I need it to work. I mean, we're making progress. Look, let's see here. Look, 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 look. I'm going to add a new game capture. I'm going to see KSP small like that. And then I'm going to do, I don't want to capture chatty. I want to capture Kerbal Space Program. What is DWN Kerbal Space Program? That makes no sense. Okay, there we go. Then we can do edit scene. And I know I can make this smaller. See, there's my, my loading screen, right? Okay, and that's going to keep it. And see, the problem is you can't actually shear it in OBS. I know. See, see how it doesn't match up? And I could do this, put it behind the camera. There we go. See, I could totally do that. I mean, I know how to do that. I just can't actually, I can't shear it. And I need to shear it a little bit. Um, Slim actually redid the admin building for me. I just need to find, I need to do that. There was some other stuff I need to fix on that as well. You see, so I've got the loading screen back there, but it doesn't look right. I totally know how to do that. I totally know how to do that. Um, there's no rotate. Crito, thanks for the follow. <laughs> With the follows. Oh my gosh. It might have to redo the caching. <sighs> I don't even know what to do about that. So what do y'all think I should do? What do y'all think I should do here? I We started this as a joke, thinking that it's been going for an hour now. It's been going for an hour. I barely use any mods. You do a new TV border that's flat and put the screen there. That's what we were going to do. Yeah, that's what we were going to do. I know, I know, I know. We've got that. Um, what else could we do here? What else could we do here? I mean, I'll totally leave it up there. I'll totally leave it up there. Make it slightly larger, and if you can, put a gray border around it. So you can't see the TV? I could do that right quick. I could do that. Space engineers. I'm not going to get too far into being tabbed into the game causes slower loading. Do Minesweeper. Shivin X. Shivin Vex, actually. What's up? Play Space Flash games. Try restarting KSP. Is that a good idea? Tell me if that's a good idea. Shivin X, thanks for the follow. Minesweeper. <laughs> I'll totally put Minesweeper. Any programs, plugins, easily do what you want where it shears it off to the side, so you've got to have XSplit for that. That's okay, I guess. What else do we need to fix on the stream? Something we want to install. Right checks. It's just taking an insanely amount. It's an insanely long amount of time. No, no, no. People are saying not to install. Make it the new TV. Stream DOS is war again. Restart KSP. Then don't tab out while loading. How am I supposed to do that? How am I supposed to read the chat and work on OBS then? What is that? Oh, that's the shirt I have on underneath that shirt. <laughs> I've actually got two shirts on. Did I fix my green hands? No, let's fix the green hands right quick. Let's see here. Put it to a vote. Am I using 64? No, I'm not using 64. Yeah, does anybody does anybody have astronomer's visual besides KSP Kamuchi? <laughs> All right. Das is a fair Yes, this is this is like a week's worth of growth for me. <laughs> One of the things, one of the traits in my family is not growing a lot of facial hair. Got the good strong jaw, but not the facial hair growth. Definitely don't have the facial hair growth. You can use AV Synth to use shearing. Dude, Bugmans, could you give me a link to that? I may not go through all the setup for it right now. <clears throat> only only Kamuchi does. The only person in the world who has Astronomer's Pack working is Kamuchi. And Kamuchi runs the computer out of the bed of a truck. It's that big. Can you start up a completely vanilla KSP real quick? I could. I could. Um, do you need me to do that? Huh. I could. What do you need me to do that for? Stream TLD if you stream something. I mean, it's still going. It's hopping along. It's just these are the, these are the squad thingies, right? These are totally the squad thingies. And it's going through them. It is, it's working its way through them. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Yeah, Kamuchi does have 54. Oh, and Top Hat Dragon. So two people. Two people. Three people. Three people. All of the zero. I've got all the zero megabyte extras, except there was one that I didn't really think I wanted. 
I basically have all the zero megabyte extras. You are right on that. Um, I'm tabbed into the window right now. I mean, I've got the window in focus, but I run it in a window anyways. That's how I tab in and out and stuff. I do need to get a, like a 60 watt soft light bulb or something over here. You have it running, Lord J? You have it running? Okay, how long did it take y'all to get it running? Because this is ridiculous how long this is taking to run. Oh my gosh. Greenface. Monev, what's up? We are streaming my loading screen. You can see it in the background. Let me go fix that right quick. <laughs> I will get on with the stream here, guys. Let me just make it big enough to cover up. See, like that. Right? For now, that's what we're going to do. There's a Twitch link to Monev. Nightbot's not here. I can fix Nightbot, too. Again, we're spooling up the stream, I guess. I honestly don't know what's going on here. So annoying. www.nightdev.com. There we go. Projects. Nightbot. Okay. Login. Okay. There we go. What else should I do? Try these later. Direct show capture. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> you restarted KSP after 15 minutes. Mine has been going for an hour. <laughs> okay, so I've got that up, and I've got that up. Thank you. And I'm logged into Nightbot now. Hello! <laughs> Kibo, yes, KSP! <laughs> Kibo, KSP's loading. <laughs> Slowly but surely, KSP is loading. My monitors are very huge. That's what's going on. If you lower blend and raise simulator, you should get the... Fl okay, yes, I know. All right, kind of wrecked. Kind of wrecked. It's just huge. It's beautiful, but it's huge. It is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful, but it's absolutely huge, too. Why can't I log in to Nightbot? Light in. Log in, Nightbot. Huh. Let's see if that works. Okay, now I got it. Nightbot just recently restarted. Um, Nightbot is not currently a mod. Shut up. All right. Yeah, Nightbot is restarting right now. It says Nightbot is having system issues, so Nightbot no worky. Nightbot does not work right now. Okay. Your ad said a giraffe is spiraling out of control. <laughs> oh, look, it just jumped again. Why is the screen slowly marching down? Again, Kibo89, thank you for the donation. <laughs> Somebody link me to the background image. Um, Squad posted it up. Squad totally posted it up. I don't think we had encoders. I don't have huge monitors, but I make up for having three of them. I've got three huge monitors. I've got three 27-inch monitors around me. <laughs> That's what's going on. I've got my OBS broadcasting stuff over there. I've got my, like, ancillary. Like, when you all send me a link and stuff like that, I look this way to look at it. And then this is my Kerbal Space Program monitor in front of me. That's what I've got going on. All right. It's still loading. Um, the green screen. Let's see if we can fix the green screen. We should totally be able to fix the green screen. Let's get rid of that. Still no source button. Yeah, it's okay. That's okay. You just noticed the screen in the background? <laughs> it's pretty well integrated, isn't it? All right. And my light is very bright. I need to, now that I have the better camera, I need to get less lighting, some better lighting. It takes four minutes to light. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how I am. I've, like, need the monitor on here, and I have to, like, take the mouse, like, all right, get to the other monitor. It's like, what is it? Um... By 900. 1600 times 3 pixels across, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I've done MKS before. Kibo, thank you again, by the way. Let me see if I can't fix my uh, screens, the green screen. What? Yeah, I have. Well, I have three 27 inch. Tweet three 27 inch monitors so they all match. I hate it when they don't match. I hate it when they're different sizes, and I had a 27 and a 24, and then Black Friday came, and they had these two great bank monitors on sale for like 120 bucks. 4,800 pixels, thank you. His wireless accessories. I have no wireless accessories. What does that even mean? Only three monitors and things at least. I need another one up here. Like, I need an up monitor so I can look up like that. <laughs> I need an up. Can I play KSP? I could, Bison Brother. I could. I could totally play KSP with like that. I could also put another game back there. I should play Minesweeper. Do you want me to play Minesweeper? <laughs> um, on Twitter. Sorry. Um, they tweeted it out a good while ago, Veru Plays. I don't actually know where to get it. Monev, you know you're welcome to post up pictures of the uh, Spruce Goose. 
You know you've got, you know you're welcome to do that. Folks, y'all should totally toss Monev a follow. In fact, Monev should go stream, and then I'll put Monev's stream in the background here, and I'll commentate on it. I'll be like, well, that doesn't look like a good idea. He's probably going to crash. <laughs> That's totally what we should do. I honestly don't even know if, uh... <laughs> Hang on. The spruce goose with the fake... <laughs> I love it with the fake... Uh, the fake antennas. Or sorry, the fake propeller blades. <laughs> That's actually a really cool touch, dude. The fake propeller blades. I like that. I do like that. Build a full simulator enclosure. Is this what you'd like, Cube Jam? Let me see. Yes, that is what I would like. I would like another monitor up here. Honestly, did y'all see the tweet from Long Dark? Long Dark put out a tweet where they're going to put... He's actually got my monitor. He's got the bank gaming monitor. Those, that's the monitor that I have, except that one is not a 27. That's a 24 in that screenshot. Those are the 24-inch monitors. Nice. Good deal. It looks like it, at least. Maybe it's not. Yeah, because this monitor is bigger than my face, and that monitor, unless that guy's got a really big face. <laughs> but, anyways, let's see here. You know what you might like to help without microscoping a mouse with DPI adjustment buttons on the fly sensitivity? No, I'm fine. With with like half a mouse pad, I can go from one edge to the other. With half a mouse pad, I can go from one monitor edge all the way to the other one. We are. We are comparing the monitor saws. They are. They look like fake props. They look like fake props. KSP gives us the ability to solve problems. Sarah Quinn, that is a great, that is a great random quote. <laughs> that is a great random quote. Oh my goodness. Monev, that plane looks nuts, by the way. That plane looks totally nuts. Das Face has 200 viewers. Wait, are there 200 people watching me load the game? <laughs> Wait, let's fix the green. How do I fix the green again? Jesus. What's up, my brother? How's it going? <laughs> oh my gosh, I need to open my eyes more. Why did... I have such a fold. Full-time hype. Bomb.com, what's shaking? <laughs> Um, the green screen. Okay, somebody was telling me how to fix that. So if I go like that, and I change my blend, my blend is 10. And my similarity is 100 right now. So you want less blend? That makes it worse. That makes, uh, that makes a bigger green border around me. Hmm. I actually don't know. Y'all can almost read my fingerprints. Look at that. That's nuts. <laughs> Lower blend and raise similarity, that makes it a lot worse. Um, that puts a very bad green border around me. Let me just raise the similarity. It was 110 and 20, actually. Let's see here. So the green hands are still there, and I've got a bad green border around me now. That did not work at all. That was not working. Let's go back down to 100 and 20. See, that looks like it softens it up a little bit, doesn't it? I know how clue to do it. The spill reduction, okay. Um, I'm adding spill reduction, I don't know what that's doing. I still have the green wax on, wax off stuff. I don't know. Maybe it's just not fast enough. I, I just bumped it up to 50 spill reduction and that doesn't actually have anything. Dude, X-Win 3D! <laughs> We're streaming my loading screen. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Y'all want me to play Minescreeper? Painting yourself green will fix the problems. Make it green so you're actually a Kerbal. <laughs> Doesn't sound good at all. <sighs> I don't know, how does that look? I know Quark, but we have nothing else to do while we wait for this to load. It probably looks fine when you're tiny. I know it looks fine when you're tiny. Yeah, it looks fine. What is this? Oh, for the quote list. <laughs> I mean, that honestly doesn't look bad. Does that look bad? I don't think it looks bad. Y'all want me to play Minesweeper? I could totally play Minesweeper. <laughs> you want me to make mine, like, put Minesweeper up here? I don't even know. If I have Minesweeper on here, I'll totally do it. It might interfere with the rest of the quality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need professional studio quality. That would make sense. Loading Screen Academy. Well, the screen is loading. See? The screen is loading. Let me see here. <laughs> Let's see. I don't even know if I have Minesweeper on this computer. Game. Nope, I don't. I don't have Minesweeper! What? It's just one of the Windows things that I have uninstalled. Games Explorer. No, but that's not it, is it? Nope. Nope. 
Now, I don't have any games. <sighs> I don't have Minesweeper on the computer. That's so terrible. That's so play hearts. <laughs> I actually don't have any of those. First person Tetris? What do you want? You want me to get Legos and like make Tetris pieces? <laughs> it's a loading screen. Take what's taking so long? Spaceman Spiff. It's because we are trying to install Astronomer's Visual. It's been going for over an hour now, and it's just not working. Minesweeper.x <laughs> What? Have you ever played Open TTT? I don't know what that means. Load up FTL? Armor games. Gmod. FTL? I could totally try FTL, I guess. There's no more issues with the green screen. Align, dude, we were just trying to see... See how when I move my hands, you can see the green screen? It's just because this doesn't, uh... This doesn't do it. No, I'm not. I, I actually have it uninstalled from Windows 7. I, I like that I can watch the screen. Can you see the screen? Look, type in chat. You'll see it move. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Try those games. No, I'm not going to go to any web page. No web page games, guys. No web page games. Launch an Estes rocket. <laughs> Ow. Why do I keep calling you Spaceman Spiff? I don't even know. Oh, uh, you want me to try and play FTL? I've never tried FTL before. I've never tried FTL. As often as you crash, how is this long a load time? Hellion, this is just a win this is just a one-time load when active texture management compresses all the textures down and it's been going for a long time. So, we started this off as a joke thinking that it was only going to take like 10 more minutes and uh, it's just not uh no, I saw it. I saw about I saw about installing the Windows 7 games. I know how to do it. I actually uninstalled them specifically. Um, I uninstalled the Cookie Clicker. I could <laughs> DOS FTL. Let's do some FTL. You want me to do some FTL? I'll do some FTL. Wait, hang on. <laughs> Let's do pull open FTL loading screen. What would you like? Would you rather me play FTL or watch the loading screen? <laughs> One for FTL, two for watching the KSP loading screen. Tell me what you would like. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous stream ever. By the way, Sykes was saying vote to. <laughs> You're ridiculous, honestly. Where do I have this? You guys could always uh, join the Steam community. While we're sitting here, the fact that it says that it is a... There we go. Oh, man. Playing Kerbal Space Program. I know FTL is great. FTL is great. Alright, good deal. <laughs> we should go raid Shimmy, too. We should totally raid Shimmy. <laughs> Aw, sad potato. How sad. How sad. This is actually really sad. We should raid Shimmy. <laughs> we should raid Shimmy. And let's raid Shimmy. Um, it's not invite only. That's a bug. That's a Steam bug. It's not invite only. You can actually change it. You can, you can join it and it'll let you join, but it'll tell you it's invite only, but you'll actually be joined. Um, Robocraft will take too long for me to get into it. Robocraft will probably take a little too, too long for me to get into it. Um, <laughs> let's go ahead and close for loading screen. <laughs> I don't know what OTTD is. I don't know what OTTD is. Sorry. I'll do something that's roguelike and fast, so like FTL. Yeah, guys, did we get the Steam? Yes, here, look, Steam. There's the Steam community. It's going to give you a bug and say it's private. It's not actually private. It'll show a bug. It's not actually going to... It's not actually private. OpenTTD.org. Oh, Transport Tycoon. That looks like it's going to take too long to get into. I'll keep the window open for sure. I'll keep the window open for sure. Uh, is he on KSP TV? I thought he was just on Shimmy. Oh, no, he's on KSP TV. Oh, but he's not. We rated Squadcast. Crypt of the Necromancer. Dance of the Necro Dancer. Or whatever the... Crypt of the Smancer Mancer. Whatever the name of that shame is. <laughs> Spaceman, it's a one-time loading. It's a one-time load. It's a one-time load. I could play Fallout. I'd love to play some Fallout, but that's not very fast. You would see me for four hours grab every single piece of scrap metal in the entire game is what you would see. <laughs> we should raid Shimmy. Oh, but he's on KSP TV, and I kind of got in... Well, I didn't really get in trouble. I didn't really get in trouble. I didn't really get in trouble. 
No, we didn't really get in trouble. It was just not great timing because there were a bunch of questions that Max was trying to answer. And uh, we raided and all the questions got scrolled off the screen and then he couldn't keep up with it. I mean, I can handle I can handle the fast scrolling chat and that sort of stuff and answering questions. But uh, Max, I don't think, could keep up with it. That's okay. I totally understand. Uh, let's see here. Crypto the Necromancer. The back row, the back spa, the backspace dancer. <laughs> what is that guy's name? Let me load up FTL, guys. Let me totally load up FTL. I will play FTL. We're going to kill the chiptunes for that, by the way. We are going to kill the chiptunes. Where is FTL? Good night, Irene. I must not play it enough. Library. I don't even know how to get to all these games. I never use this. FTL. Oh, that's right. I don't have it on Steam. I have it standalone. Let's see here. Games. Ah, yes. FTL. Let me get FTL. Here we go. Let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and mute the chiptunes. There we go. Then we can fire up FTL. Never. I've, I've played it a couple times. I've won it once or twice. There we go. FTL is loading now. Oh, my gosh. Dungeon Nightmares. Ooh, that's that's good music. I like that music. I like that music. That's actually great. That is actually great. And look. This music is so great. Raffle names. I will. I will. I will totally play some FTL. Let me, uh, let me do this. Hang on. We've got the loading screen still going. Let us go over here. Let us, uh, add a new thing here. Just a second. Game capture. Game FTL. Alright, where's FTL at? There we go, game FTL. Excellent, eh? And I'm not gonna do it right here. I'm just I'm just doing this until I get set up here. Give me just a second to get set up. Give me just a second to get set up here. I need to what do I need to do? I need to edit the scene. Game FTL, please. Oh, that's not good that it's not actually the full size of the screen. I'm gonna have to figure that out. There you go. See, I've always wanted to do that. I need to put a border around it, I do, and I need to move this down like this. Like that. Alright. I like that screen back there. I really do like that screen back there. Um, I've played FTL a couple times. I've won it. I've won it once or twice. Is the uh is the uh the sound on FTL okay guys? Let me know if the sound is okay on FTL. And I'm gonna go ahead and set up the other uh set up the other thing. Is the sound okay? Let me know. And let me change the channel title as well. Green Ember, um, we're waiting for... My KSP has some problems right now, and we're waiting for it to compress some textures. That is what we are doing. We are totally waiting for it to compress some textures. Where is T-Board? Oh, I could just do it over here, I guess. But I want to change the game I'm playing. I actually don't know the command. So we're going to change this to be... Kerbal Loading Scream Academy, playing FTL. <laughs> I'll change it over to uh, Kerbal FTL Academy. Like that. Kerbal FTL Academy. Playing... Is it FTL or Faster Than Light? FTL, yeah, there we go. FTL colon Faster Than Light. Save that. I'll give this a try, guys. Sound is good. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Moose KSP down enough so you can see the progress bar. Oh, I'm not gonna leave K... I'm not gonna leave FTL back there. I just wanted to get some time. Get some tape so the batteries don't fall out. I've never had trouble with the batteries falling out. I've streamed hundreds of hours with them just like that, and, uh... The batteries don't fall out. <laughs> ah, yes. This game is so awesome. This game is so awesome. Let's see here. Best with no door. That's exactly right. That's like, brruh, brruh, my quick change. Um, No, it's not a space fleet. Guys, if you don't know what this is, it is a new camera. It is a new camera, Dan Dog. Let me get my other scene set up here. Oh, I'm going to have to go to it anyways. I can't actually edit the scene without going to it. But back here, I can totally add another... Window capture is not good. Game capture is not coming through as the right size for some reason. Game FTL. I did not mean to do this, guys. And we are definitely going to do the area FTL. Stretch image. Okay, there we go. That's what we're looking for. And we just put it all the way down at the bottom. Um, Is chat going to be okay there? Is chat going to be okay there? Yes, I want to play Artemis Spaceship. I want to I want to stream Artemis Spaceship Bridge Simulator. I totally want to stream Artemis Spaceship Bridge Simulator. Oh my gosh. Yeah, FTL is awesome, guys. FTL is so awesome. So I don't really need the uh, keys, do I? There we go. Yeah, I don't have very many friends. Do y'all think the chat's going to be okay there? 
That's where the enemy ship is. That's right. So we don't need chat on the screen for FTL. We don't need chat on the screen for FTL. There we go. All right. Okay. Yeah. There's not a good. There's not a good spot for the chat. Okay. We will look at that. We will look at that. Yeah. Everybody's on a TeamSeek server. That's exactly right. That is exactly right. The chat may need to be a little smaller. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna remove the chat. Honestly. Am I good? All right. So, folks, if you're new to the stream, I usually stream Kerbal Space Academy in this time slot. I've got some issues with my Kerbal Space program right now, so I'm playing another game in the meantime while this actually... My green screen is clipping. What does that mean? Oh, my green screen up in the corner is clipping. I see. Thank you. What command was it for that? Edit scene. It was control, wasn't it? Or alt? There we go. All right, good deal. Fixed. And I just that just needs to be folded out, it looks like. All right, cool. We can fix that later. All right, excellent. Yeah, we fixed it. We fixed it. Green screen is fixed. Let's stream some of this game, because this game is so freaking awesome. And guys, if here, we need to update the, minim, the mission command. Can somebody update the mission command so that it says, you know, waiting for KSP textures to compress or something? That should be good. And you're still going to earn credits for this. You're going to earn credits for this. What was Pokemon asking? Somebody answered a question. Yeah, that's where the enemy ship is. You could resize the game window. Yeah, I don't I don't like resizing the game window. Here's what we do. Here's what we do. Thank you, Zarian. Oh, playing with an alternate universe while KSP loads. Thank you. Let's get this game going. I am I don't have anything to continue. So let's do new, and if you don't know what this is, if you don't know what game this is, it's called FTL Faster Than Light. It's a roguelike spaceship simulator, basically, where you get to, uh, is this all on the screen correctly? It does. It looks good. Okay. So you've got, like, a crew. You've got different compartments to the ship. You run between them by going through little turbo doors or whatever. Um, you've got, like, your bridge where the pilot sits. You've got your security camera, your monitors, your sensors. You've got door control, you've got a med bay, this ship, different ships have different things. You've got a shield generator, you've got a weapons bay, you've got your oxygen generator, and you've got your engine, right? So the trick is, you've got this rebel fleet coming up your tailpipe, and you need to get away from them to go warn the main base, which is in another star system. Um, totally allergic to not streaming KSP. Totally allergic. Oh, dude, hectic. Yeah, no, um, I was totally trying to stream KSP, then I had some issues. FTO uses the whole screen. I think I'm going to leave it this way. We'll see how it works. We'll see how it works. I think it should be okay. I can always move the camera around if I need to. So you've got to run away. You've got to run away. The stream delay. There should be only a little bit of a stream delay, right? Um, you've got to run away from this enemy fleet that's coming up your tailpipe. Because the screen of photos on the launches. What? On screen, the photos of the rocket launches I did. Huh? Oh, you mean on the other screen? I guess it probably could be. Yeah, nice reflexes. That's what I do. So anyways, you start out with the ship. It's got the different components on it. Um, what else? Anything else? You've got different types of weapons you can install. You've got your crew that has different, like, uh, attributes and that sort of stuff, right? Don't you have the red tail? I don't. I just started playing. I just started playing this game. I've only got a couple things. And I'll start it with this ship. This is the default ship you actually start with. This game is so freaking awesome. This game is so freaking awesome. Is the last drone slot. Yeah, and I don't use the drones that much. That's how you should see some other people's. I don't actually know what y'all are talking about. But anyways, let's just start with this. I'm going to name this the loading screen. <laughs> oh, man, the loading screen. Here, we'll do it DOS loading screen. DOS loading screen. And let's get some viewers on here and see who can get killed. <laughs> DOS loading screen is the name of the ship. And let's get, what do I have? I start with three crew members. So let's grab, let's grab how this is going to be. Let's grab who's this going to be. The first one is going to be, and the winner is Bison Brother. Dude, Bison Brother, you're going on the ship. Sorry about that, Chunky Chicken. <laughs> Wait a second, Chunky Chicken. What did you just do? Let me type this, Bison Brother, like that. Okay, enter. What did you just do? I just realized that you speaking in front of a loading screen is more entertaining than most streamers on Twitch. You deserve a tip. <laughs> Chunky Chicken, thank you for that. That's a serious donation, too. Did it come up? It did come up. Didn't it come up? 
I think it came up. Tell me if it came up, guys. Please tell me it came up. Please tell me that that donation showed on the screen. Okay, Chunky Chicken got the name. Did it show on the screen? I think it did. Thank you, Chunky Chicken. That is serious. <laughs> me, me speaking in front of a loading screen is more entertaining than most streamers on Twitch. <laughs> oh my gosh. Folks, toss Hectic a follow as well. Um, I can't do the chat thing, but totally, totally, totally. Toss Hectic a follow. Thank you, Chunky Chicken. I appreciate the donation. I'm glad that you're entertained by it. I'm just having fun. It's like the biggest land party with 200 of my friends. We're just hanging out. It did come up. Excellent. 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 So we've got Bison Bro in there. Let's see who the next crew member is going to be. Thank you, Chunky Chicken, again. Shivin! Shivin Vex! I'm just going to call you Shiv. And I can't copy paste into this game, apparently. That's annoying. Shivin Vex. Shivin Vex. You should be. Shivan V. Alright, good deal. Shivan V. Congratulations. There's the link to Hectic, guys. Click on the link to Hectic's name. Give him a follow. The next winner is Mysterious Mage. <laughs> Mysterious Mage. You are going to space. Oh, I could have done it from the other screen. Can I paste here, maybe? No. Mysterious Mage. There you go. Accept. I have to press enter and then I can do accept. So we've got Bison Bro, Shivan Vex, and Mysterious. Mysterio, actually. Mysterio. <laughs> for talking more. We should all donate DOS some money for talking more on the big screen instead of playing KSP. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mysterious Mage doesn't fit, just do Mage. I gotcha. I gotcha, Mysterious Mage. Dude, Hectic, don't, you don't have to apologize, man. You don't have to apologize. I need to come by your stream and donate to you is what I should do. They're going to die. You're probably right. You're probably right. Can you change it to Mage? All right, I'll change it to Mage. There we go. No more name customizations. Mage. Done. Okay. So our ship is good to go. We can't actually change anything here. I don't think I've unlocked the other layouts. I'm just going to use the default ship. I'm going to leave it on easy because I'm a total noob. I'm a total noob. I, I've gotten the stasis pod, but I've never fixed it. I've never fixed it. Um, I've never gotten the stasis pod repaired. I've, I've seriously only played, like, five or six games of this, and I've won it maybe once. So you're all going to die. Well, I did for thanks. I did for Halloween, but that doesn't count. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to click Start. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Tip health. Pay attention to cruise health. Ah, whatever. These guys can die. It's all good. Moving along. Yeah, I got advanced edition with the, uh, with the soundtrack, because the soundtrack is amazing. Continue. All right. So I'm here. I'm here. What's up? Fezzy, how's it going? Bomb.com, I don't know No Man's Sky. Oh, I'll totally do No Man's Sky. Yes, yes. Let us move forward with our inter aptic aptic whatever journey. Move, we're going. All right. So we've got a jump drive. That's the entire thing, the faster than the light. That actually opens up the beacon map, and we can jump to another beacon. I think, looking at this, I'm going to go kind of at a trajectory like this. I'm going to go to here, then I'm going to go down to the distress signal. Then I'm going to go through the nebula, and then I'm going to come back up to the exit. Usually what I do, I try to go down at first, then I can see the rebel fleet. I didn't, I know I didn't activate advanced edition, I did that on purpose. Um, I usually go down like this until I can see the rebel fleet, which is going to come onto the left hand side of the screen here. And then I try to race across this. If I go through the nebula, the nebula will actually hide me from the rebel fleet, so they go down a little bit, right? Go down a little bit. But... Then, I usually try to come up behind the exit, because I can always jump up back to the exit right before the Rebel Fleet gets there. Let's see how this works. I'm going to go here first, and we're going to jump to the next place. You bet you die first. Alright, you receive a request. All of, our <laughs> All of our military ships have been destroyed or damaged during the Rebellion. However, there have been reports of a Mantis war camp only a few jumps from us. Can you help? I'm game. Let's go. <laughs> All right, thank you. If you can just give us a count on their numbers, perhaps we can get the rebels to help. All right, whatever. That's fine. Add a quest marker to your map, and I got 24 scrap metals. Scrap metals are important because that's what you use to upgrade your ship. Upgrade your ship. Moving right along, let's continue. There's nothing else to do there. We've got some scrap. I can now go down. Ooh, I could actually jump to there, then the distress beacon, then to the quest. So let's do that. I'm not going to upgrade anything yet. 
I'm not gonna upgrade anything yet. Alright, once you arrive, your screen lights up with warnings. A nearby pirate seems to have advanced hacking tools and they tried to shut down your engines. Whatever. Your crew manages to keep them barely operational and you move into attack. Continue. So the biggest thing of this game is pausing it. <laughs> you basically just constantly pause the game. You totally just pause, constantly pause the game. I do play different games, I do play different games. So I've got a t couple different things, I need to power up my weapons, I've got extra energy in the reactor, and I just gave weapons, I just gave a power to the Artemis missile system and the burst laser. So the trick to the game, usually, is to break down... <laughs> I am! I'm teaching how to FTL. You try to break down the enemy shields. So I can totally, I can totally use the Artemis missile to shoot at the enemy shields because the missiles actually bypass shields. Don't ask me how. I guess the slow paid the slow blade penetrates <laughs> the slow blade slow blade penetrates the shield, I guess. But the missile will fire there at the shields and then we try to take out their weapons like that. Let's see how that goes. The missiles the missile should always go before the burst laser. You want the missile to hit first. Maybe it's going to make it. I think it is going to make it. If you want that missile to hit first, and then you want your burst laser to go off. So you see how that worked? My missile took out his shields, and then I just took down his guns. So now he's got no protection, and he can't fight back. That's a recipe for success. I like it. Pause, pause, oh please, please nerf Rebel Fleet. <laughs> oh my gosh. Moving right along. Thank you, Igor. Thank you, Igor. Yes, this is the new. Welcome to KSP.9. I should totally title the stream KSP.9. <laughs> So, we're good to go. Now we basically need to take the missiles offline. We don't want to use them anymore, and we're just going to keep on shooting at his weapons with the burst laser. We should be good to go, though. That burst laser is going to charge up. We're not going to waste any more missiles on this guy, and we should take him out with this salvo. Excellent. That's what we're looking for. So, every time you kill somebody, you get bonus goodies, right? You've got uh, six fuel, which is actually a really good amount of fuel, and 28 scrap. That's good. That's good. Let's keep on going. Let's keep on going. So now that we've taken care of the enemy, we will jump here. Oh, look at that. And we want to get scrap and then go to the store to see if we can upgrade our weapons. So let's see what's going on. I'm going to go to the distress beacon here. Let's see who's in trouble. Survey says, you find the source of the distress call, a small research station. It appears to be a small laboratory. Fire got out of control. It's always a problem in space. Threatening to destroy the station. Their fire suppression system is not responding. This is a problem. I. This is a problem. If I send my crew in, one of you may die. I don't want that to happen this early. If you dock and try to rescue the survivors, the station may explode. And we may take damage from it. I would rather... I can repair the damage, so I'm going to try and rescue the survivors. Excellent! You pull up alongside the station, you cut through the hole, you rescue some people. They offer to join your crew, and you get rid of the rest. So I got 13 scrap. And Jones the Praying Mantis. <laughs> Except, is his name Jones? Can I actually edit him? After I'm over here, can I edit him? Let me see. I actually don't know. Uh, I can go to ship. I can go to crew. I can go to Jones. Okay. Dr. Jones! Dr. Jones, Niter Soul, thank you for the donation. <laughs> thank you for the donation. I appreciate it. All right. I appreciate it. Name him from the chat. Dr. Jones, Dr. Jones. No time for love, Dr. Jones. In fact, your name is going to be Indiana. The winner is Mr. Miguelite 5000, whose name may not fit. You just may be Mr. Miguelite. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. Mr. Miguel. That's what we're going to call you, Mr. Miguel. Did I pronounce you? Yeah, Mr. Miguel. All right. Mr. Miguel. We're just going to go with that. You are a praying mantis, great at fighting, moves very quickly, not good at repairing stuff with your little mantis-y paws. Right? <laughs> so that's good. Let's accept that. Let's go to the next place. Let's get going with this. Let's go to the quest. Ooh, I can't jump to there from the quest. Can I jump to there, then to there, then the quest? Yes. I'm going to go to there, then I'm going to go to there, then I'm going to go to the quest, then I'm going to go to the store. If you jump into the nebula, the rebel fleet will slow down. I want to get as much scrap as I can before I get over to the... Uh, Ah, uh, intruders on board. That's a problem. Luckily, I know how to deal with this. Pause. Intruders detected. I don't actually know where they are. I can't see. Mr. Miguel, go and man the doors. You go and man that. Did I, did I right-click? I didn't right-click. There we go. And you go there. You guys are going to run over there. That should allow us... Whoa! He's in there. 
All right, well, that's not going to be good. The best thing to do there is to run into there. Once you're in the med bay, uh, I can't vent those guys to space. We usually try to vent them to space. You're toast now, man. You're toast now. Run in there and help. Is my med bay offline? No, it's not. Okay. We're fine. We're like lounging in the med bay. We're totally lounging in the med bay getting healed while we beat the tar out of these people. So you're donezo! Get out of dodge, guys! The med bay's a great place to fight because it heals your guys. It heals your guys while they fight. So we're going to need to uh, put this guy on the shield. I, uh, you're going to need to go ahead and fix that. And we will hang out for a second. The bad thing about that is you almost never get anything. Right? When you get intruders on board, you almost never get anything. They don't link together. You can't do what you just said. They don't link together. B. Barry, what did I just say? I don't even know. B. Barry, what did I just say? Tell me. All right. It's a dog pile in Medbay. Medbay is a great place to fight. <laughs> it really is a great place to fight. Let's uh, put you back over there. We are all repaired up. And the engines are missing a little bit of power. Let's save the crew positions and carry on. So we're going to go down here now. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Kerbal Lowering Floating Screen Academy, nice. A pirate ship arrives shortly after you, judging from the fact that it's attempting to avoid your ship. It's a smuggler. Guess what? We're gonna throw down. Let's continue the same thing we did before. We'll put the Artemis on his shields, we'll put the burst laser on his weapons, and we'll just let it go. Let's see what happens. FTL is so great. I really do like games like this. 300, but close enough for government work. What now? What? Oh, what? They don't want to fight. They're trying to escape. Suckers. Too bad. I already took out his shields with the first shot. I took out his weapons with the second shot. Missiles offline. Burst lasers go for there, and he should be good to go. Oh, you chose another route. Oh, yeah. I, no, I said I was going to go around. I said I was going to go around, B-Berry. Breach missiles in 32 scrap. Breach missiles. So what is a breach missile? A breach missile under equipment. Breach missile. These missiles are designed to cause maximum disruption to, sh to ship hull armor. Charge time 22 seconds, whereas our Artemis charges in 11. I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to leave that for now. I'm going to leave it for now. We're good. To now, Barry, dude, we're good to go. We are good to go. We are good to go. We'll just go ahead and put those breach missiles on there. I've got 127 scrap. Moving right along. We've got to get... We're going to jump to there. We're going to go to the quest. Then we're going to go to the store. It actually looks like I could go to there, then to there, then to the quest, and then to the store. How am I doing on fuel? 17 fuel? I am aware of the auto-fire Pokemon. I usually turn it off when I'm using missiles. Yes. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see here. I am going to go... Oh, jeez. Can we make it? I don't know if we can make it. I don't know if we can make it. Mm. Gosh, that amount, and then that amount, and then that amount. I think we can make it. I'm pretty sure we can make it. I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna go for it. I don't know if this is a bad decision. I'm spending time going around the nebula. I'm trying to get as much scrap metal as I can. Uh, you've arrived in the middle of a plasma storm. That's not good. A rebel scout is hiding in a plasma storm to take me out. Guess what, buddy? That's not good, our shields are offline. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, okay. We don't really need the med bay. You shoot at his shields. Oh, he doesn't actually have shields. So we should go for other things. We, for, we should go for, like, his drone control. And we should go for his weapons, because the plasma storm's got his shields turned off. So we can uh, risk it for the biscuit. Not sure you have enough Delta V. <laughs> Let's turn that off. Oh, there's nothing that I can do to get a shield up. If I could get a shield up... I could honestly turn off the Artemis and activate a shield. That is probably that is probably a great idea here. Turning off that Artemis and activa activating the shield is probably the way to go. There we go. So my shields are up now. I did take a bit of damage. That beam guy can't do anything to me. He's going to be shooting at me with missiles, but now we've taken that down. Let's turn him off as well. That's what we should do. Actually, not because he has missiles, but the beam weapon. The beam weapon is what I was worried about. Yeah, we're good to go. Four missiles, one drone, 13 scrap. We will not accept surrender. <laughs> oh, he got a shield online. That's okay, we can still take him out. Because the first one will take down his shields, the next two should hit and kill him. Oh, we missed one, but we took down his shield again. Alright, how are we doing on oxygen? 
Yeah, we're okay on oxygen still. We're at 50%. Let's get that first laser off. Go, 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 go. All right, we got rid of him. We totally got rid of him. We got a little bit more scrap. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, shields down. Oxygen on. All right, we should be good to go. We should be good to go. All right, the ion storm. The ion storm um, actually removes a lot of your energy from your reactor. You can only run the reactor at half, I guess. <clears throat> so let's see here. We're good to go there. We've got 147 scrap. We can't jump. Why can't we jump? No power to the engines. So now we'll be able to jump. Um, a lot of the times, that lightning storm in the background. I wonder... I mean, I would usually let my oxygen go all the way back up. Because if I were to jump right now, my oxygen would arrive unfilled. Right? My oxygen would arrive unfilled. I wish there was like a wait button or something. Where you could wait till your oxygen went back up. It doesn't take that long. I can just run my mouth. 99, 100. Let's jump to the next sector. We're gonna go here, we're gonna go to the quest, then we're gonna go to the store, and we should be flushed with scrap when we get to the store. Watch, there's not gonna be anything there. <laughs> Alright. A black market weapons trader spins you a tale of dangers of the nebula before brushing his wares. Ignore the ship, attack the ship, or purchase an unknown weapon. I think I'm gonna purchase an unknown weapon. I think I'm gonna purchase the unknown weapon. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. We're just going to roll the dice, see what we get. We'll still have 100 scrap plus whatever we get from the next square. Let's see what we get. You transfer over. Oh, he reneges. There was a donation from Raru. Forget KSP. You should stream this. This dude, minus 45 scrap, and then he doesn't give me a weapon? What? Come weapons to max. Come about and ram him. Guess what, buddy? I'm not okay with this. All right, so we're gonna put the Artemis on his shields. We're gonna put the burst laser on his weapons um, We're gonna make sure our shields are fully activated. We're gonna put power to our engines That's gonna give us more evasion and let's go ahead and fight this guy. The weapon is a lie The weapon is a lie. The weapon was definitely a lie All right, sometimes you get a really great weapon. Sometimes you get nothing. Oh He just shot me with a freaking oh buddy. That's not cool. I'm gonna hit him with another missile Hit him with another missile. Oh no, I forgot to shoot again. That's lame. <laughs> oh well. I should have just shot his oxygen and then let him just die. Die. Boom! Idiot. I better get at least 45 scrap. Two missiles, which I used. 22 scrap. That was a net loss. I've gotten halberd beams before, and I've, I've never actually seen that. I've gotten weapons before. Yeah, fat chance. <laughs> That's exactly right. Alright. That was a net loss. That was a net loss. So lame. So lame. Let's jump to the quest. Then we're gonna go shopping at the store where a person of better repute will actually sell us things. Missile weapon, what is this? You find the Mantis encampment, but there are far too many of them to count accurately. You send a long-range message back to the settlement with your findings, but unfortunately there's not much you can do. It would be suicide to attack directly. I'm feeling froggy. <laughs> I'm feeling froggy. I'm gonna shoot a missile at them, and then we get to leave, maybe? I hope we get to leave. I've never actually had this mission before. Let's see what happens. <laughs> you fire at their fuel debout. Oh no! They shot it down! That's lame. That's lame. I'm gonna do it anyways! Say it! Kill everything and everyone. That's how I roll through Rebel Space. Alright, that was dumb again. Two swings and a miss. Two swings and a miss. He's got a he's got a beam weapon and he's got a shield weapon. Leave none alive. <laughs> Shoot for me. Oh no, my hole. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do now? Just the burst laser. We're gonna keep shooting at your weapons. I should just starve them from oxygen. I should totally just starve them of oxygen. Pew pew pew. pew, pew, pew. What's up now, Mantis? <sighs> A wash on the missiles and 18 scrap. So we're basically back up to where we were. We're basically back up to where we were. No, don't kill my friends. Beam me aboard. I'll take care of this. I don't have a beamer yet. I don't have a beamer yet. So those two things were basically just we took damage and we came out in the wash, I guess. Let's go to the store and see what we get. Let me check on KSP as well here for a second. Where's KSP even loading? 
Kerbal Space Program has crashed, apparently. <sighs> Who even knows what the deal with that is? Kerbal Space Program has actually crashed because I've got the crash notification up. Ah, yeah, yeah, I closed the program. Jeez, oh, Pete. Who even knows? All right, then I'm going to load it up again. So annoying. KSP.exe. Let's see what we've got. Run it. And, uh, survey says... You called it. You told you, Igor, just stop saying that. Just stop saying that. Like, that doesn't add anything to the stream, honestly. Like, I'm not going to do the whole backseats gaming thing. I'm not... Oh, you're talking about the stream crashing. That's okay. We're restarting it. Now it's actually scrolling through, through things very quickly. It's apparently got most of the squad stuff done. You know I'm going to finish this FTO run. Otherwise, they repair just too quickly. Fight NGs as they take out their oxygen. Wait about three seconds, then fire a breach missile at the oxygen room. Nice. All right. Okay, now it's... it's com oh, it, it crashed whenever it was trying to compress the skybox. It crashed on the skybox. So that's a problem there. All right. Back to FTO. They hail you and apparently have some valuable technology for sale. Ooh! The weapon pre-igniter. That thing is OP as heck. The weapon pre-igniter is so OP. I'm getting it. I'm getting the weapon pre-igniter. Oh my gosh. I'm totally, I'm totally getting the pre-igniter. The weapon pre-igniter on the first freaking place, dude. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Weapon pre-igniter for days and days and days. I'd love to get this Zoltan as well. I could sell the breach laser, I think, or the breach thingy. That would get me, what, 32. 32 scrap. 32 scrap would leave me too short of a crew member. Oh, no. 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 Oh, my gosh. Beth, the big rock alien. So, honestly, here... Oh. Hey, I, I don't actually know. Um, And I'll wait for this. Is there a way to sell drone parts? I can't. I can only buy drone parts. Can I right-click to sell them or something? Is there a way to sell the drone parts? What is it? What is it? You got a pre-igniter. You're good. Yeah, right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna totally like hose it. Should I just repair? Is there a way to sell drone parts? Only an even will let you sell them. You cannot. You can't sell those materials. Bleh. Breach missile pre-igniter equals the win. You can't sell parts on the store, but sometimes you can get options to trade. Okay, I gotcha. Thank you for that. I didn't actually know that. You can't sell fuel missiles or drone parts. Okay, I gotcha. You can trade them for things. Oh my gosh, okay. So the breach missile would be OP as heck. And we with a pre-igniter, we wouldn't have to worry about the charge time. So we should keep it. We should keep it. We should keep it, and we, we should focus on upgrading our weapon system so that we can fire the breach missile at the fur at like right off the bat, and then switch to the burst. Oh, I can actually fire it right now. We're already good to go. Look at this. Look at this. We've got a great plan. 15 fuel, that's fine. Let's just go ahead and repair. I'm just going to repair all the way up. Let's close this. Let's mosey along. Check this out. Pre-ignite breach missile. And then we'll switch to the Artemis and the Burst Laser, which would charge in the same amount of time. This looks great. This looks great. You can fire Breach, then switch to Artemis. That's exactly what I'm doing. That's exactly what I'm doing. All right. Let's jump to the next place. Let's go... Oh, how many places can we hit? We could definitely go there. We could definitely go there. And then we could see if we could go there or not. All right, so let's go here. Here's what we're going to do. I've only got five missiles, though. Oh, look at this guy. An advanced Rebel automated scout. Ship remains stationed near the Rebel space station. Sensors indicate it's a storage vessel for military goods. <laughs> All right. So the breach missile, we almost don't even need the breach missile here. Because the automated scout is not going to have any... The automated scout is not going to have anything. So I'm just going to fire the breach missile like that. I'm going to do that. Okay, then I'm going to switch to this and this. 
I've got that on. I don't need the bed bay. We should be good to go. So let's see what we've got. Bam! Did I click on the wrong thing? I totally clicked on the wrong thing. I should just take him down with the burst laser, shouldn't I? I'm an idiot. I clicked on the wrong thing. I'm just going to take him down with the burst laser now. Oh, no, my O2. Seriously. I clicked on the wrong thing. That's my, my bad. He's got an ion weapon and a attack drone. Oh, come on. That's so annoying. I'm, like, not clicking. There you go. 19 scrap. Investigate the station. A boarding drone and 11 more scrap. Man, what can you do? Folks, guess what I've got up in the background? Time out. What do I got? I've got Kerbal Space Program. I've got Kerbal Space Program. I'm going to finish off this FTL run. I'm going to finish off the FTL run. Kerbal Space Program is running in the background. Running in the background. We've, so we've got that going for us. All right. But I am going to finish off this run. Kerbal Space Program successfully loaded. Coming soon to a DOS stream near you. Oh, they took out my O2 completely. Well, that's not good. Dude, go fix it, mage. You too. Get in there. Fix that. Excellent. Great success. Great success. How are we doing on viewers here? Uh, my question would be, how are we doing on viewers for FTL? All right, we're good to go. We can totally send everybody back to where they need to go. Return to stations. All right, moving right along. Let's make sure we set this up correctly. Breach, 36 scrap. I would like to start upgrading my ship, I think. Let's keep jumping. We'll be able to go here. We, pro we probably won't be able to go there than there. Let's see what we've got. 201. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you looking up. What is this? Upon completing your jump, you receive a message from a nearby ship. Greetings and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on your way. Your ship looks wee. I reject your offer. All right. Pause it. Breach missile. Over there. Fire. Reroute power to the Artemis and the burst laser. Artemis. Continue targeting their shields. Burst laser, take down their weapons. I probably shouldn't actually use the Artemis. Yeah, I'm not going to use the Artemis. I'm just going to go with the burst laser. I need to conserve those three missiles I've got. There we go. Oh, we whiffed with the breach missile. That's lame. That's lame. We better power up the Artemis just to make sure. Oh, that beam weapon, though. All right, we took their stuff offline. Let's just go with auto fire. Let's send the burst laser. Let's. Ugh. If we can keep getting two shots through every time, we'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. We don't need to use a missile. We've got to keep the missiles. We've got to keep the missiles because we've got that OP breach strat. There we go. Nice. You'll pay my toll next time. Two missiles, I'll take it. And 24 scrap, three fuel. I love it. Continuing along. Oh, yeah, I probably shouldn't have depowered it. You're right. Rerouting power. Jumping. We are not going to get any more out of this, so we're going to go straight to the exit and get the heck out of Dodge. Overlance on missiles will get you killed. I do agree with that. I do agree with that. Ship with a conspicuous pirate markings is orbiting a nearby moon, broadcasting a simple... Let's hail the ship. Let's see if this... I. Uh... We have an extensive stock. Ooh. I'm not sure I'm okay with that. I shouldn't have to dock with you. I shouldn't have to dock with you. Send me a brochure. I'm not going to do that. Aha! The pirate reveals hidden weaponry and sets off in pursuit. You have to fight him to escape. What's up now, nerd? There you go. Breach missile away. Rear out power to Artemis and burst laser. Burst laser. Fire on his weapons. And let's go. Bam! Oh, and I heard, I heard it breach, too. I've totally heard him breach. If only we could keep the burst laser powered as well. Seriously? We will not accept your surrender. Sorry, buddy. I hope he can put that out. Put it out quickly. Go! Shrivenex, you need to learn firefighting skills. Yeah, what's up now? That'll teach you. 19 scrap. These are really lame rewards, honestly. Alright, so Shriven is fixing the engine. We'll wait till you fix it. 
Let's power down our weapons, set them up correctly for the pre-igniters, and Shriven, go chill out in the med bay for a while. I'm gonna have to reroute some power. Alright, the hiss is a breach. The RNGs is in your favor. <laughs> oh my gosh. Fight him, Tex. You got this. Dude, Saiyan. Did we give Saiyan a shout out? We should we totally should have got Saiyan a shout out. We totally got I'm gonna go about this FTL as Saiyan goes about his his Dark Soul duels. No one left alive. <laughs> Dude, Saiyan, thank you for hanging out. Saiyan is an awesome streamer, and you should totally. You should totally. The rewards teach mercy. Not in my universe. Saiyan is an awesome streamer. You should toss him a follow. Let's get the heck out of Dodge. Uncharted Nebula or Pirate Controlled? Hmm. What else do we have? Hostile. Hostile. I think I'm going to go... Hmm. Who is this? Hostile. Let's try the Nebula. I'm going to try the Nebula. Give Saiyan, a, give Saiyan some love, guys. Give Saiyan some love. And I hope we got Saiyan a link. Mercy is for the dead. <laughs> You've encountered a sector thick with nebulas. You have to. Inst you'll have to investigate on instinct. Why couldn't I just leave? <laughs> I'd rather just leave, honestly. All right, med bay O2 off. There we go. 79 scrap. Can I upgrade anything? It would be great to also have the burst laser right from the beginning. We could save a lot of power. It's gonna take us some. One, 35, and we could get one more. That would allow the Artemis to be powered up, which isn't really what we want. We're going to have to have 50, so we'll just save this. And let's move right along. Use weapons more. What? Alright. Hmm. I'm going to try to go for the end around and go up this way and come back down around. Let's see what we got. Uh-oh. Plasma Storm. Okay, here we have to go with this nonsense again. A Rebel Scout seems to be waiting for you. Luckily, we just got some more energy, so we can totally use the breach laser on his shield, or the breach missile on his shields. Lay the missiles away, we can power down that, we can activate the burst laser and our shields. And that right there is what we want. I hope it hits, though. BAM! And the hiss. And the hiss. I'd love for that burst laser to be up. Um, Bergzor, I'm still doing this war of mine. I don't actually know if I recommend it yet. 3, 1, and 14. No! No, I'm not cool with this. I'm not cool with you attacking me and then asking for mercy. It's not how this game goes. Yes. Look at your little drone. I wish I could recover him. Two missiles, I'll take it. One in 28. All right, I'll take that. So now we've got 52. 52 would allow us to upgrade the ship so that we could get both the breach and the burst laser online at the same time. Ooh. I, I have to have that powered up so that it's powered up because that's how the pre-igniter works, right? So now I don't have any power on the engine. Let's turn off our oxygen. Let's do that. Let's jump to the next sector. I'll come down up here, I guess. I'm going to have to turn my oxygen back on. Remind me to do that. <laughs> okay. No attack comes. Okay, well, that's good. We can power up again. So if we took one off of engines, we could actually have the burst laser. There we go. Now we'll have the breach missile and the burst laser ignited every time we go to a sector. That's amazing. Flat cannons. Yeah, they're totally flat cannons. Um, Bergzer, about this war of mine, I've only played it once. I've only played it once, so I don't know. Um, I do not know the answer to that question yet. Now we're good to go. Unless we jump into an ion storm. The Gatling laser. The Gatling laser is nuts. You have to play FTL. You have to wait for you to KSA building on moon or somewhere else. You have to play FTL. FTL is so freaking awesome, guys. FTL really is awesome. So let's just continue on with this. Gatling laser. There's totally a Gatling laser. You jump into a combo part of the Nova, your Rafisa is a rebel scout, jumps into the beacon and moves in to attack. Continue pause. Alright, I've got burst laser pre-ignited so I can take out his weapons from the get-go and not spend a missile. What are you going to do? You really don't know. So I'd advise you not to trust this automated rebel scout. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, what's up now? That pre-igniter is so OP. The pre-igniter is so OP. All right, jumping right along. And I could use more energy right now. 
Because then I could run my engines at 5% more. All right. Excellent. Moving on up. Moving on up. There we go. Let's go. FTL is so much fun. Once you arrive at the location of the dress call, a ship hails you. Thanks for responding to our beacon. Our FTL navigation has gone haywire. Lead them to their destination. No problems, man. You look like you're cool. 18. Scrap. Moving on along. Ooh, a quest. He only wants to go to one place. I wish he could stay with you, but let's take him to the, uh, let's take him to the thing. All right. Shortly after you arrive, you get 40 scrap. You get an, oh, excellent. Heck yeah. So worth it. The next thing I'm going to start doing is my shields. I am totally going to start working on those shields. So it's 20 plus 30 for the first upgrade. And I, I usually love to do the doors, too. I've got 15 left, and I'm going to need initial power. I need one more power to do that. So at least we can we can turn it up. Oh, there's a store in that sector. All right, I've got to go through other sectors. How many jumps? Ooh, it's going to take too many jumps. I'm going to jump to here, then to the store, because I did spin some of my stuff. Ender Esu, FTL is awesome. They're <laughs> navigating the fog blind. You practically bump hulls with a mantis ship. Pa! This transgression will be this transgression will be overlooked. Nebula, very dangerous. Next time, humans all die. Not in my sky. <laughs> all right, the breach is good to go. Let's toss a breach at their shield generator. I'm actually gonna let the breach get there first. Now the breach is impacting, so I'm going to go ahead and start shooting at their weapons. <laughs> what are we even gonna do? We won salvoed him! What's up now? What's up now? <laughs> you know what to do. <laughs> you know what to do. Oh my gosh. You know the awesome thing? I got this game for $4.99. <laughs> Alright, so we are good to go. We could actually upgrade our reactor, which would bring the other shield online. Oh, we're one scrap away, but we could take that away and we could turn the other shield online. That's bueno. That's good bueno -ness. The store. Oh my gosh. I think I could jump to there, to there, to there, to there, to there. Oh, but it's so far in. I'm torn. I'm going for it. Bumped into it how many kilometers per second, right, Gav? No. A meeting place. We can't hire anyone. I would have loved to have an NG. Dang it all. We got nothing from that. We got nothing from that. That's good bueno-ness. <laughs> Setting up a trade depot, set up... Wait, zi -di 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 -di, blah, 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 whatever. You get you get what that is. Crew teleporter, Jill Shelton. System repair drone. I actually like that sometimes. The pike beam. Two power for the pike beam. The heal beam. Now in the fire bombs. I'm not going to go for a fire bomb build here. Maybe I should just repair the ship because I can't actually buy anything. I could sell the boarding drone. I usually don't use the boarding drones. Switch to shield after you use the breach. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, I'm going to sell the boarding drone, I think. I don't use the... I'm not, I'm not going to go for a drone build here. That gives me 59. And with 59, we can't actually hire the crew. Oh, gosh. <laughs> you could toss one of the launchers. I bet you... I bet you that we could toss... The way this is going, I bet you we could toss the other missile. Mmm. And get a pike beam? Toss the other missile and get a pike beam? Yeah, we should toss another missile and get the pike beam. We should toss the little missile... The Artemis. We should toss the Artemis, get the pike beam, and then re... Yeah, we're def we're gonna sell the Artemis. I think that that makes a lot of sense. We're gonna get the pike beam. Was the the pike beam's really long, isn't it? Yeah, the pike beam's really long. So I'm gonna get the pike beam and then I'm gonna repair and buy missiles. Fix all for 14, and the rest will get one missile. It looks like. That's okay. I'm just gonna roll with it. All right, let's set up the ship. We've got the breach and the burst laser. I'm going to go with that because if the breach misses, the pike beam is worthless. You don't want to power up the pike beam until you're sure that the shields are going to be down. Breach missile, the shields plus pike, their ship in half. But if the breach misses, the pike beam is going to be worthless for an entire an entire run. Mm. I'm going to keep it on the burst laser. 
I'm going to keep it on the burst laser. So now we just have to get on home. Ooh, that double jump. No, I could do I could do this. Have you ever noticed that sometimes there's really good loot when there's a something way off on the edge of the map? Like if there's a sector way off on the edge of the map, like that one, there's usually really good loot there. I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go. In that way, we're not gonna rely on that missile too much. If it whiffs, we'll still be able to hit him with the. Uh, we'll still be able to hit him with a 3x burst laser. Of course, I'm gonna attack the ship. Who is this? You see a rebel ship waiting nearby. Attack. Guess what, dude? Burst. Sorry, breach first. Let the breach hit. Miss. That's okay. We can still do this. Turn off the breach. Go to the pike beam. I should have shot their shields. That's going to be okay. We have that, and we can turn this on. So we took out their weapons. We've got that going for us. It's probably going to take them some time to fix it. They have a drone. It must be an internal drone. I'm just going to keep hitting their... Yeah, I'm going to keep... I'm going to just keep their weapons down. Because with one shield, they can't really keep it up. Shoot for me. Powering up its FTL. Too bad. Whoa, that's not what I want. There you go. And then he got the shield up. Because it popped me over to the FTL thing. That's okay. We're fine. Not too worried about it. What can you do? I would double salvo the shields. Keep on burst until you can be sure their shield is down. Yeah, that's what I think. That's what I think. I do think we should keep on that burst missile, or keep on that burst. So back to breach, pike beam off, breach engage. Hey. Oh, because of this, there we go. Well, we can always upgrade the ship to get one more power. And that's gonna allow us the 20% dodge there. You see that whenever I add to the engines, I go from 15 evade to 20% invade. So that's what we're gonna go with. All right, jumping right along. I can make two jumps. So I'll jump to here, then I'll jump to the exit. We're good to go. Breach and burst fire at the shield in the first salvo. That's probably what we should do. There's nothing here. That's lame. Just straight to the exit. What a waste. What a waste. We're down to 10 fuel as well. Long range beacon. Da 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 da. Jump. Go. Next sector. Engage. NG controlled or rebel controlled? I think I'm going to go to the NG controlled section. Sometimes you can find two ships mating. Alright, continue. I'm down to nine fuel. What a, what a measly little sector. Hmm, I'm just going to go for the straight jump and get back out there. I bet the breaches aren't needed yet. You're probably right. Your freeze of it, they're looking offer to improve your reactor for two drones but two missiles. So that is actually going to be economical, but we need the missiles. We're not using the drones at all, but we need the missiles. And that will basically save us the next reactor upgrade, which is going to cost us 30, I think. And two missiles will only cost us like 15. So we should be good. We should be good. I'm going to agree to the trade. Upgrade the reactor by one. Excellent. Because now, we actually didn't need that right now. But we'll, we'll need it in the future. So let's move on along. Oh, a store. Interesting. And a distress. So do we go to the distress or do we go to the store? Could we go there, 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 then there? I don't know. Let's see. You got to get as much scrap as you can before you go to the store. Lord Techie made your success first successful direct rendezvous. Nice. Nice. Satellite defense system has gone haywire in the Rapuku. All right. Let's see if we can help him. Simply fire on the defense system. Okay. Excellent. The station does not seem happy with your solution. <laughs> they did not seem happy with the solution because we didn't have an NG on board or a uh, EMP weapon. That ion bomb, though. That's a bomb. That requires a missile. I don't want that. I don't want that. Moving right along. Two missiles is 12 scrap. Yeah, that makes sense. That's right. Two missiles is like 12 scrap. So we got 24. That's not really enough to do much at the store with. I think I'll jump to there, then back to the store. Let's see what we can get. And I am, yeah, I'm activated correctly. You've arrived at an engine construction yard. Nothing. Nothing, man. Nothing. And there's nothing we can do. We can jump to the store. We can sell the iron bomb. The ion bomb. We're going to continue right along. We're going to continue right along. All right. Engine can do remarkable things. Excellent. Drone control. Ooh, cloaking device. The breach 2 bomb. Now, the small bomb. Now, what's on page two? The repair arm. 
The repair arm is key for the end game. The repair arm is key for the end game. Because it's the only way you can repair your ship in between, uh... In between thingies. And the repair arm is going to cost me 50. Please give me enough stuff to sell. How much for the ion beam? 27 plus 24? 51. <laughs> I love it. I'm going to get the repair arm. Oh, it's rough. You really want to find it right before the end. You really want to find it right before the end because it lowers the amount of scrap. But you save in scrap from repairing. I think I'm going to get it anyways. I think I'm going to get it anyways. We're low on fuel. Ooh. Ooh, we need missiles. We need missiles. Dekustera, why is the repair on a trap? We need missiles. So do we buy missiles? Thank you, Brain Fried. I appreciate it. <laughs> do we buy missiles and keep the scrap? Or do we get the repair arm? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Or do we get missiles and fuel and keep the scrap? Oh, man, I don't know. <laughs> A recursive command. Yeah, the fuel is low. I think I'm going to have to pass. I'm going to have to pass. Yeah, I'm going to have to pass on the repair arm. I'm honestly going to have to pass on the repair arm for now. I need fuel. The fuel is way low. The fuel is way low. That's what we needed to do right there. It's sad. It's a sad day. But that's what we needed to do. Moving right along. Let us jump to the next beacon. If I could have jumped to the next one, I would have gone to that one. Alright, if you get the repair for free, it's sometimes worth it, but almost never economical to buy it on anything with easy mode. I am on easy mode. Um, because I barely have ever played this game. I understand the mechanics of the game. But I, uh... Am I... Yeah, I'm... I'm correct. Oh, he's got a crew teleporter. You guys better run there. Let's see if the breach missile hits. No, the breach missile did not hit. Oh, that's not a good thing. That's definitely not a good thing. Um, he's on the shields. That's our evasion. You need to run to there. I bet you he goes to the O2. But the doors aren't going to lock down, are they? There you go. He's going to try to take those out. Okay. We'll put another missile at his... Yeah, we are going to put another missile, but my next fire on the boost level will be there. Who is that? Get a Twitch parts, Chunky Chicken. Wait a second, dude. All right. Now we're just going to starve him of oxygen. And I'm going to turn off the breach laser now. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have gone to the pike beam. That's okay. He... Did he teleport back? 39 scrap ain't nothing to sneeze at, y'all. Alright, so we didn't get to talk to the civilians. That's a bad roll on that. He didn't actually break anything. Alright, good deal. Chunky Chicken. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! Chunky Chicken, I saw the name, but... I'm sorry, I continued the fight, and you did do the huge donation. I've got it on the other thing, and I saw I saw out of the corner of my eye, Chunky Chicken, but I didn't I didn't focus on the number the number, dude. Thank you, Chunky Chicken TV. That's twice in one night, dude. I need to get a Twitch partnership ASAP so I can sub. I applied for Twitch partnership, they turned me down. Um, I'm trying to get up to uh, I'm trying to get up to 5,000 followers, and then I'm gonna be like, now I'm going to continue on. So far, says Chunky Chicken. I'm trying to get up to 5,000, and then I'm going to do that. But thank you so much for that support. Dude, now I feel like a total idiot because I was, like, playing the game, and I didn't see that come through, and I'm an idiot. Oh, my gosh. Dude, Chunky, thank you for that. This is my job. I hope y'all are entertained by my job. It's my job to keep y'all entertained and to teach y'all some stuff and that sort of stuff. I'm here to watch. Do your thing. Thank you, Chunky. Thank you. Thank you. A healing burst. What? <laughs> just passing out stuff like candy they're passing out stuff like candy you're right in fun it is unlike KSP this is mostly RNG you're exactly right Ooh, a store with 77 scrap and some stuff to sell let's go check it out let's go check it out the store continue we've got an ion blast <sighs> the ion blast is so OP sometimes the 
fire beam. <laughs> Ignites fires everywhere. The Hermes missile, that's just a powerful missile. The, the breach is better. Cloaking, we can't afford. Drone control, crew teleporter, we're not worrying about. Um, we could totally sell the heal beam. I'm not going to worry about the heal beam. I'm just going to sell it. 97. We could get those ion blasts. I love having those ion blasts. I love having the ion blast. EK Maverick, I got a $200 donation once. is the biggest I've gotten so far during a boot camp. That fire beam, though. Oh my gosh. Two power. Fire chance. High. I've got the pike and the fire, and I can choose between them. Ion or fire beam. Oh my gosh. I could actually get both. I could get both. It's not very useful, but it's crazy fun. <laughs> um, ooh, fire beam doesn't go with... That's actually great. That's actually great. The drone control would come with a system repair drone. A system repair drone. I'm not going to do a drone build. I think I'm going to go with the ion blast. I think I'm going to go with the ion blast. I haven't, I haven't seen the chat yet. Ion blast and the fire beam. Get rid of the pike beam. If you can get their shield down, it gets help crew kill victories. Yeah, I totally get that. I totally get that. Um, I think I'm just going to go with the ion beam. <sighs> what does the pipe beam, pike beam do in terms of damage? The pipe beam does... What? <laughs> Surprise, mother fluffer! You didn't see this coming! <laughs> Chunky chicken, dude. You're one of those awesome people that make people's, like, my life's possible, man. <laughs> thank you. Like you said, you want me to play the game, so I will say thank you. Oh, Lord! Oh, Lord, says Chunky Chicken. Oh, Lord! <laughs> Chunky Chicken, dude, you're awesome. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep going with this. We're going to buy the Ion Blast. We're going to name our Ion Blaster Chunky. It's going to be a Chunky Ion Blast. I am going to buy the Ion Blast. I'm going to stock up on missiles, I guess. That is the nicest surprise. That is the nicest surprise. I'm going to get me some missiles. I'm going to have to start working on these shields, too. Missiles and fuel for days, y'all. And let's keep going. Chunky Chickum, dude, you're freaking amazing. All right. We've got that. We're, why are we at 15% evade? That's weird. Why did our evade go down? Huh. At some point, we're going to need to upgrade some other systems on the ship. I do like upgrading the doors, because those borders are so annoying. And I like upgrading the O2. I'm not going to do that right now, though. Go breach an ion preloaded. Why would I go breach an ion preloaded? The ion... No, I would never go ion... I would never go ion preloaded, because the ion takes 8 seconds to load. I'm going to go breach and burst laser. I'm going to stay with the breach and burst laser. Breach and ion doesn't make any sense, because the ion is an 8 second load. It loads so fast. Evade went down because you have more weight. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Nobody's on the engines. Gotcha. Nobody's on the engines. Thank you. Nobody's on the engines. All right. And that will give it. There you go. Bing. 20%. All right. Moving right along. Chunky chicken, dude. Seriously. All right. Look at this. We got this. We can go here. You're a boss level streamer. Keep having fun with it. Chunky chicken. I appreciate that. Your last name... <laughs> R in Jesus is clearly in my favor. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> the glaive beam. The glaive beam. I don't believe it. <laughs> The glaive beam <laughs> rigged. I'm gonna have to toss a weapon. Thank you, RN Jesus. Thank you, RN Jesus. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's gonna be in my hold, isn't it? The glaive beam. <laughs> the glaive beam. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> that is absolutely hilarious. I'm gonna just upgrade the heck out of these weapon systems. I don't even think I can field it yet, can I? I've got four, five, ion, I could do ion. Hmm. I could do, I, I actually could run 
With five energy, I could run Ion Glaive. And anybody with one shield is just toast. Anybody with one shield is just toast. Having bombs since drones can't stop him. Call it the Chunky Beam. <laughs> I blame the character piloting the ship. Look at this. The Pike Beam is going into storage. The freaking Glaive Beam is going up there. That's nuts. <laughs> Are you going to win this campaign? I don't know, Chunky Chicken. I could lose. <laughs> I could totally lose. Remember, it's all RNG-based. You never know what's going to happen. The pre-ignit... The pre-ignited Ion Glaive Beam would be a ridiculous amount. What do y'all think? Ion Glaive. Ion Glaive. T-Game, what was your past comment? What did I miss? Burst Pike Glaive Beam. <laughs> Burst Pike Glaive. GG. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the Burst Pike Glaive. We've got the eye- there's so many things we can do with this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So what should we pre-ignite? We should just take the Ion off and we should do the Pike- Oh no, the Burst- the pre-ignit Burst Pike Glaive? <laughs> Breach Grave, preload, preload. I think- I think for now- Wanna make me a bet? <laughs> Chunky Chicken, I don't know what type of bet you're doing. <laughs> the money only goes one way on my channel, so <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Oh my gosh, I'm glad we did this. All right. I'm going to take the Ion off, and I'm going to go Burst Ion Glaive. I'm going to go Burst Ion Glaive. We do need the Mark II Ion. The Mark II Ion would be great. Every four seconds. Every four seconds. All right. Burst Pike Ion. I'm going to try the Burst Pike Ion combo here. We can't pre-ignite all of them, can we? No, Burst Glaive. No, we can't, because that's four, five, six, seven. We can't do that. We can't pre-ignite that. We could pre-ignite the Ion Glaive. But we can't pre-ignite that, because the Ion Glaive will pre-ignite. Then we'll switch to Burst Glaive. We need to upgrade our weapons a little bit to, to accomplish that. Let's see. We're not going to have enough to, to do it yet, are we? Upgrades. Yeah, 75. We've got to get to 75. Then we could go Burst Glaive. Burst Glaive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100 points. Or what do you use here versus $100? Chunky Chicken. <laughs> I will do that. I will I will do that. 100 credits. Mark 2 Burst. It's half the reload time, I know. I will tell too Chunky, but I don't expect anything like that, man. I totally don't expect that. I play the game because you guys like watching it, and I love playing it, and that's what we're doing. We're going to continue right along here. You eye on them to break the shields, then the Glaive to kill them. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to pre-ignite... No, it makes more sense to do the Burst Glaive pre-ignit, but we can't do that yet. So we'll pre-ignite the Ion Glaive. And then we'll switch to... Oh, we can't actually do Burst Glaive. We would just have to do Ion Glaive over and over and over again. Mark 2 Burst to reduce shields, then, yeah, Glaive, Pike, and Appropriate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This looks good. Or whatever, I don't care. I'm down, Chunky, I'm down. Let's keep going, though. Talking about it isn't going to win the game. Glaive Ion pre-ignited. Nothing we can really upgrade. Let's keep going through the sector here. I can't get back to... Well, I could get back to the store, but let's just keep going. I could totally go there, then there, and then the exit. So let's go see how this works. All right. Attempt to help the ships by prying them apart. I have a beam weapon. Continue. Oh, no! It was the NG thing! I'm an idiot. I just clicked pry them apart on the NG. I totally just did that. Oh, my gosh. I shouldn't have done that. I knew not to do that. I'm an idiot. That's okay, we have pre-ignited ions here. Um, ooh, we may actually have to switch off the glaive, because the glaive goes through three, doesn't it? He's just going to ion us down, isn't he? I'm an idiot. I clicked on the wrong thing. I knew not to click on that. I knew not to click on that. The ion will take one down. Ooh, I don't want the glaive to go yet. Okay. I want the ion to take down their shields. Miss. I'm, gonna fi I'm not going to let this thing, because it's pre-ignited. Come on, just hit their shields once. All right, and then I'm gonna cut their ship up like this. There we go, that's what we're looking for. All right, now I've just got the glaive beam. I should probably switch to the burst laser, huh? I actually don't know. Anyways, let's see here. We're gonna hit them again with the glaive beam. We can just cut them with the glaive beam and they'll die, since it's already mostly loaded. All right, didn't know what to do there. I cannot quit out and resume later. I will continue going. I will continue going, Chunky Chicken. I will continue going. 
I know, I totally messed it up. I didn't actually need to do that. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm such an idiot. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Anyways, I knew I shouldn't have done that too. I knew the better. Take the breach off. Just take the breach off. Eh, check, give as much as I have so you can revert to the internet. No restrictions. Chunky chicken, I'm gonna keep on going. I'm gonna keep on going. Oh, there's a store up there. I'm about to just take that breach missile off, but I may need it. The store? We don't really have anything to sell, and we only have 47 scrap. Preload glaive and ion. I think I have it preloaded, don't I? Yeah, I've got preloaded glaive and ion. We're good to go! We're going. Use burst glaive pike. Burst glaive pike. Alright, ion bomb. There's another pike. We could double pike it. Drone control. There's nothing we can really sell. <sighs> I'm actually just going to fix the hull and then buy some fuel. Because the only way I could lose this is if I run out of fuel, so I'm not going to I'm not gonna allow that. I'm going to keep going. And let's get to the exit. Let's get out of dodge. Preload Glaive Ion, then go to switch Burst Pike. That makes sense. That makes sense. I know, Santi. I know. I know. A battle is taking place nearby. Aid the civilian ship. Who is this? Oh, this is these people. The pirate ship. Continue. The Ion Blast. On the shields. Give me a hit, please. Excellent. Glaive Beam. How many... I can't actually get those. Ah! Glaive Beam, come on. Ah, yes. I'll take it. What's up, pirate ship? <laughs> we just cut them in half. <laughs> oh, my goodness. A science vessel. I'll take it. I'll take it. Mage, you do need some heals, man. Good, good eye, good eye. Good eye. Got it. Don't double pike. Yeah, I gotcha. I gotcha. Alright. Good deal. That is good to go. Mage, we actually have to turn on the bay. We can do it like that. 87. Now we can actually preload the burst. Now we can preload the burst. Can we? We could preload the burst glaive now. We could totally preload the burst glaive. If we upgrade that. Um... The Burst Glaive. I think the Burst Glaive is the way to go. I think the Burst Glaive is probably the way to go. Or the Shields. Oh my gosh. We really... Oh my gosh. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna keep going here. I'm at 87. Preload Burst Glaive. Burst Glaive would be OP as heck, wouldn't it? Burst Glaive would be OP as heck. Then I can take the Ion off. Well, I don't actually need to take the Ion off. Look, I can go to Ship... I can go to equipment. I can take the missile off. Oi. All right, I got to think. Burst glaive should be able to hit any beat any ship in the game with smart targeting. You got enough scrap for the upgrade. I did. I did. All right, I'm just going to leave it like this for now. And if we start to have trouble, the ion is important. The ion's important. So we're going to preload the burst glaive now. Medbay can go offline. Oh, actually the burst glaive. I really want to upgrade those engines and shields. Yeah, the weapons and the doors, we do need to do that. We do need to do that. Preload weapons is nasty fun until you get to the boss. You're right. I want to get the weapon reloader as well. Let's keep going. Next sector, 21 fuel. I'm going to keep tanked up with that fuel. Mantis controlled? There's a lot of boarding that's going to happen there. Or civilian sector. Mm, I think I'm going to go because look at all these hostile sectors. Well, we could have a tough fight there, then go through the nebula, then go that way. Then these would all be, what is this? Is there any rebel controlled? Hostile, hostile, hostile. No rebel controlled sections, just unidentified hostile. Switch the breach and the pike. I think we could. I think we could. I think I'm going to go through the civilian sector. I need to get more scrapped. I know, Huangatronic. Huangatronic. You don't want the boarding. I don't, yeah, I don't think I want the boarding either. I agree. And my guy's not in position. All right. Oh, my guy wasn't in position. So we're going to go. Let's jump. Some more crew would be good, too. Let's start by going to the distress beacons. Yeah, the shields dodge and doors are important. I agree. Beam weapon. Cut the ship out. That's what I thought when I cut the two NGs that were mating. Oh, my gosh. You have better loot up the branch. Yeah, let's cut this out. A healing burst and some stuff with two missiles. I'll take it. Moving right along. Let's go here. We want to go. We want to spend some time in that nebula. 
Alright, there we go. Intervene and defend the outpost. I think that I'm on board with that. Alright. Burst lasers straight against their... I'd actually want to go against their weapon. Nope, nope, nope. Burst lasers against the shields always. And then Glaive ready to fire. What? Whiff, whiff, whiff! Are you kidding me? The burst fails me. I could cut him apart anyways, couldn't I? Because he's only got one shield. So I could just hit him with a glaive. There. Turn off your weapons. Turn off your control. Now dodge that. I gotta remember that the glaive cuts through the shields. You have a Telebrator and upgraded med base so you can finish the event. I don't know what that means, actually. Get out of dodge. I gotta remember. I gotta remember. That's not what I thought when I saw two NGs mating. <laughs> Moving right along, heck yeah. What else can I upgrade on the ship? I almost feel like I need to go to the next weapons or... Let's actually, let's upgrade this stuff. Let's upgrade that. Let's upgrade... Our oxygen is important, I think. I think the oxygen is important. And then these things here, it just makes it harder to completely cut it out. Alright, and then some energy. I don't have enough. That's fine. Alright, I probably should have put one into energy so in the meantime I could use it. Whatever, let's go. Moving right along, let's get over to those nebula sectors as fast as we can. I want long jumps here. I want long jumps. You stumble across a forward scout. I'm sorry. Dude, burst laser onto his shields, and then we're just gonna cut across his entire ship. Watch this. Excellent, then we're gonna glaive beam him like this. What's up, nerd? Dude, Darth Lazarus, don't jinx it. <laughs> Moving right along. Oh, um, let me upgrade the inner the reactor here. And now we can put more into our engines, which will give us 30% evade. I love it. A distress call. Ah, uh, that's okay. Let's jump to that section and then we'll go. Get wrecked, nerd. <laughs> Get wrecked, nerd. <sighs> you know something? Mercenaries are worse than rebels. <laughs> The only honorable course is to engage the mercenary in battle. Because I like cutting ships in half. Burst laser shields. Pew, pew, pew. Glaive beam, everything else. That looks legit. Except there- Oh, eight missiles! Oh, but I'm not using missiles. I might actually accept this one. I'm gonna continue going. I'm gonna continue going. Yeah, no, the doors. The doors are important. The doors are important. I'm gonna continue cutting you in half. I want more scrap. 37, I'll take it. I'm not really... I've got 22 missiles. I'm flush with missiles. Alright. I need to keep on spinning these upgrades. The med bay increases the healing speed. Let's not do that yet. The blast doors are important. The reactor is important. The only way I could use lose a fight is if my stuff... Get wrecked, interwebs! <laughs> I like cutting ships in half. <laughs> I I want emergency backup power. I really do want emergency backup power. And I'm going to go for the shields next, I think. Moving right along. Another distress signal. Hmm. That's going to let that fleet catch up, but I'll go to the distress signal. Except... <laughs> exactly. Hail to offer assistance. Our shields are down and we won't last long. Guess what? No! 59 scrap, though. For one damage? Pfft, I'll take that all day long. I will take that. Oh, no! Let's put some less oxygen in there so that the fire actually goes out. If you didn't know, if you're new to FTL, you can actually vent your flames to space. Just like in Firefly. <laughs> Moving right along. Upgraded camera. Oh, that actually makes sense, too. The upgraded camera is pretty cheap. The upgraded camera is actually pretty cheap. And while I'm here, I'm going to upgrade the con. And then we're going to go to the shields. Now we've got all of our systems upgraded plus one. Moving right along. Now we're going to jump into the nebula. That'll slow them down. You need serious dodge. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh-oh. An asteroid field with two shields. That's not cool. Burst laser at the shields. Wait for it to hit. And glaive beam. Oh, can I hit five? I don't think I can hit five. Nope, it's one or the other. Can I can I cut across into the O2? Look at that, I can't hit five. Done. Later, nerds! 24 scrap! You're the one who attacked me! Get wrecked, nerds! <laughs> A combat drone, 33 scrap, a little bit of fuel. I'll take it. 
Um, this is where that upgraded engine comes into account. You can't take this guy from me. What did Infun say? Infun said, or invisibly. Invisibly is great. Yeah, the cloak is great. Glad you have good taste in TV programs. Thank you, Deadly Yoshi. Let's move right along. A store with 61 scrap. The store will be overrun in two or three turns, so let's go into the nebula here. Then we can jump back to the store and see what we've got. It's getting too crowded in my sky. You're right, it was. Attempt to follow them and help them. 